This year we were um, very happy that we received a, a record number of submissions for, for our subcommittee, which is quantum electronics. Um, and we received a large number of submissions across the board, although there were uh, certain areas that, that received uh, uh, particularly large number of papers. And these include the following uh, quantum information and communications, optical devices at the nano and micro scales, and, uh, at, and, and metamaterials and plasmonics. To some extent, uh, the paper submissions were influenced by the themes that the subcommittee uh, um, adopted this year. And uh, these, these, uh, these themes reflect uh, current trends, current areas of particular interest in the scientific community. Um, so amongst these themes, one of them is quantum information processing. Um, and, and within this theme, uh, we have um, we have work ranging from the fundamental studies in the validity of quantum mechanics, ranging all the way to applications in in, uh, in quantum computing, quantum cryptography, and these kinds of things. Uh, uh, other thing, other themes that received a large number of submissions include, for example, uh, um, uh, um, nano and, and micro scale devices which um, which are interesting in, um, in part because they permit a, a local field enhancements which can lead for example to 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 enhance nonlinear optical effects um, similarly uh, metamaterials and uh, and systems based on plasmonics are of, um, of of interest as reflected by the number of submissions and, uh, and here we have the possibility, in the case of metamaterials, to uh, uh, design optical materials uh, uh, with specific properties of interest. There were um, a, a number of papers that were um, uh, outstanding. Uh, one was uh, a paper in which um, the authors achieved optical and cooling, uh, optical trapping and cooling of glass microspheres. This was by, by the group of Mark Raisin in University of Texas at Austin. Um, and this work is uh, really remarkable because um, uh, unlike in previous uh, works where, um, where, uh, um, where microscopic objects were trapped, such as atoms, in this case uh, it, it was a microscopic object, a, a glass microsphere. And this really uh, opens up uh, the possibility of uh, measuring quantum mechanical effects of microscopic objects. There were um, a couple of uh, interesting papers um, to do with quantum translation of single photons. This is What this means is you take a single photon at one frequency and you translate it to a different frequency. So, so you generate a new photon at, at a different frequency. Uh, one of them was uh, from Mike Raymer's group in, at the University of Oregon. Um, there was a um, uh, an, an interesting paper from John, Jason Fleischer's group at Princeton uh, to do with the effects of um, propagation through a nonlinear medium on, on imaging. And what he showed is that if you take into account nonlinear effects, then it may be possible to, um, to achieve better resolutions that you might otherwise achieve. Um, another uh, quite noteworthy paper was from uh, from uh, uh, Orenstein's group at Technion in Israel, where um, they they used plasmonic antennas, uh, and uh, and they they did this to achieve enhanced two photon emission rates. And uh, I'm, I'm I'm trying to um, to mention papers uh, from different themes in 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 our subcommittee. The, uh, another paper uh, which was very interesting was from. Alex Gaeta's group at Cornell, and this had to do with um, with, uh, with with using a uh, 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 hollow core fiber filled with with gas, and in order to achieve uh, uh, highly enhanced uh, two photon absorption rates. And uh, finally, there was an interesting paper, which was uh, multinational, including. Uh, 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 teams from from four countries or five countries, uh, in which um, 
um, in which in which in which they demonstrated the, uh, the, the experimentally the, the the generation of Anderson localization waves. There's one invited talk that that maybe uh, I'd like to highlight, which is from Stephen Barnett at the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow, uh -huh. in the UK, and this has to do with um, the resolution of a of a um, of a of a paradox, of a dilemma um, in in terms of the optical momentum inside uh, media, and there's there's two conflicting views due to Abraham and Minkowski, um, and, and it, it looks like um, like Stephen Burnett has solved this um, decades-old dilemma, and, uh, and and the paper in in the conference deals with this subject with with his resolution of this of this uh, old dilemma between two conflicting pictures.